Hi, my name is Amy, and I'm the Injury Prevention Coordinator at St. Joseph's Hospital Marshfield Ministry Healthcare. With spring arriving, families are geared up to enjoy the outdoors on their bikes. Before taking that first ride, bicycles should be checked for safety. It's important to check the tires, brakes, and also that all riders have a properly fitted bicycle helmet. Today we are going to be talking with a medical expert, a bike enthusiast, and a helmet expert. All are urging parents, caregivers, and children to wear their helmet each time they ride their bike, no matter how long or short the distance traveled. Each year approximately 135 children die from bicycle related injuries and more than 260,000 non-fatal bicycle injuries occur. Helmets can reduce the risk of severe brain injuries by 88%, however only 15 to 25% of children 14 and under usually wear a bicycle helmet. Sometimes children mistakenly believe that they do not need to wear helmets when they're riding close to home. Unfortunately, 53% of vehicle related bicycle deaths happen to children on minor roads and residential streets. Head injuries or traumatic brain injuries can be mild, moderate, or severe, depending on the extent of the injury. The risk of all these injuries can be reduced. All you need to do is wear a helmet. Choosing the correct bicycle helmet is just as important as making sure you wear one when you're riding. There are many, many choices on the market, and it can be difficult to wade through all of the possibilities to find just the right helmet to fit you or your child's head. Today I am going to provide you some guidance on how to select and properly fit a bicycle helmet. So the first thing we usually do is we'll take and measure your head to see what size helmet is going to work for you. So we would take our tape measure and go around the, the front of your head and measure in centimeters the you size. want to make sure that the helmet is approved by a national testing company. And this particular helmet is board certified by Snell Corporation. And they've tested it against impact and crash resistance. Most helmets will come with a little padding in it. And the padding can be changed out to fit your head more properly. So sometimes we need to make these pads fit in different positions to fit your particular head. Because nobody's head is the same. All right? On top of that, most all of the new helmets today come with an adjusting ring and we're going to make that adjust to your head. We're going to take this and put this on your head like so. Okay? Oh, you already know what to do, don't you? All right. Now we're going to take these straps that are on the side, we're going to open them up and slide this just below the earlobes so that it fits properly on your head. So we adjust those and you heard that little click, that's locking them in position so that they'll stay there. Then we're going to take and put this buckle underneath. What was that grin for? Mm -hmm. All right. Please. Yeah, okay. Now, I want to be sure that when I have this buckle under your chin, that I can get a finger between her. Because we don't want it to choke you, but we want it snug enough that it Here. stays. This little knob is an adjusting ring, and we're going to tighten that down a little bit. Because what we want to find, very good, you loosened it a little bit, okay. What we want to have done is that snugs the helmet up so that it sits on your head squarely. Your head is, helmet is fairly level and it's not rocking around. So that's how we properly will fit the helmet to your head. Be sure that it's snug, be sure that the straps are right under your earlobes, and be sure that when we put our finger in there, we've got room for one finger between the strap and your little chin. It was at this very location less than a year ago when I discovered the importance of wearing a bike helmet. I was riding along this road when a car failed to see me riding in front of them and I was pushed off the road where my bike tire had hit the side of the blacktop and I was thrown from my bike and landed on my left shoulder and my head. Although I only sustained a broken collarbone, my injuries would have been much more severe had I not been wearing a bike helmet. The single most effective safety device available to reduce head injury and death from bicycle crashes is a helmet. We know at St. Joseph's Hospital, the region's only pediatric and adult level 2 trauma center, that the best form of trauma care is injury prevention. What should we wear, kids? Helmet! Alright, let's go! Yeah.